Cows are considered sacred if hamburgers are a regular part of your diet. You need to make some adjustments before visiting India. Cows are protected by their own set of rules in the constitution. Making killing a cow a crime. Even on crowded city streets, cows have the liberty to roam where they please without fear of being harassed by humans. India is the wettest inhabited place on earth. Meghalaya village has won the Guinness World Record title for the wettest place on earth with about 11,873 milliliters of rain annually. The monsoon season lasts six months, so make sure you pack an umbrella. India has over 300,000 mosques and over 2 million Hindu temples. Get ready to be awed and amazed by all the stunning architecture India has to offer. About 15% of India's population is Muslim. The mosques across the country range from small village buildings to immense famous ones, like the Makkah Masjid in Hyderabad or the Jama Masjid in New Delhi. The same can be said about India's Hindu temples, which surpass 2 million to serve the 79.8% of India's Hindu population. Just the holy city of Varanasi has over 23,000 temples. It is safe to say India is the land of temples. Chinab Bridge is the highest rail bridge in the world. Not all of India's famous monuments are religious. The jaw-dropping bridge spanning the Chinab River in Jammu is 1,178 feet above the water. If you're afraid of heights, you might want to skip this one. Rajasthan has a temple of rats. The animal wonders of India continue. Although rats might not be the first species you think of to worship, there is a temple in Rajasthan dedicated to rats. Thousands of rats call the temple home, making it one of the country's most unique attractions. Many pilgrims visit the temple every year on their own religious journeys. So make sure to be respectful of local customs when visiting. You can drive on the world's highest motorable road at over 19,300 feet. The Ladakh road is the highest motorable road in the world. Make sure you pack a warm jacket on before embarking on this particular adventure.